Hi folks, it's Ron with Ideal. You know, tradespeople know having a good quality tool is really important and they may cost a little bit more to get them. And they'll look very similar to some lower versions of the tool, some knockoffs of that same tool, but it's not the same thing at times. And to find that out when you're on a job, trying to get something done is uh, pretty frustrating and not to mention pretty time consuming when that tool's not working like you think it should be. You know, an ideal produces tools and connectors that work flawlessly every time you use them, whether it's coax or UTP type cabling. And a good case in point here is our model number uh, 30-496 Telemaster modular plug crimping tool. You know, in the 20 plus years we've been making this tool, I can't tell you how many times it's been copied and knocked off in the industry, but it's a bunch. And unfortunately, those other tools uh, will not work consistently well and give you good clean crimps every time you actually use them. And uh, a case in point was the other day I was putting on some uh, Cat6 modular plugs on some Cat6 cable using one of these uh, cheaper version uh, knockoff cable uh, of, of uh, tools, right? And so I get done making up the connection and I went to snap it into a tester to get it to uh, uh, test the cables and I couldn't get the plugs to snap in and stay in and they would easily just fall right out of the tester no matter which one of the testers I was using. And uh, you know, at first I'm thinking there's it's something wrong with the plug and uh, something wrong with the tab that we're, you know, we're, when we're making them. And uh, you know, I called up uh, product management and it turns out they'd actually heard this one before and it actually wasn't the plugs, it was actually that cheaper version of the tool I was using. Because not only was it crimping the pins down like you needed to, but it was also slightly compressing the tab in the connector so then it wouldn't snap into the, into the testers like I needed it to. And when I used our tool and put those plugs on, uh, now all of a sudden the, 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 the connectors would snap in and they'd stay inside the, the uh, uh, testers like they're supposed to. And uh, so if that's what's happening to you and your little plugs won't stay in the jacks, which you get done making one up, uh, that's probably the problem is it actually is that tool is compressing that tab down as well. And, you know, good quality stuff at times is very hard to look at it and, and notice those little things. But, uh, you know, what, those cheaper manufacturers of these tools and these knockoffs, um, you know, what, a lot of times they won't have the experience or adhere to the specifications needed in order to make a tool that works really flawlessly every time you use it. You know, and I tell, normally tell guys, it's, the, it's you, man. It's not the tool that's causing a problem. Uh, but in actually, in this case, it actually was the tool. So, hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with Ideal, and I'll plan on seeing you in the next one.